Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're uh, working on the super here. Um, I know the last couple of videos have been um, engine work, uh, balancing and blueprinting the engine, but uh, we're back on the super today. So I think you're gonna see, uh, maybe get the exhaust off. I've already got the antifreeze draining up there. I'd like to get the exhaust off, um, get up top, see if I can get uh, all the hoses and everything unhooked. I think what I'm going to do is uh, same with the Mustang. I think I'm going to run the dolly underneath of it, um, my cradle, and I'm going to drop the whole front all at once. Um, so I'm going to drop the front cradle, motor, transmission, everything. So I'll get the I'll get the exhaust off. I'll get the drive shaft off, um, and then I was going to pull the other day. I was going to pull the rear suspension cradle down, um, the the rear subframe. But I didn't want to take it off just because there's some weight here and I've already got the gas tank off. I didn't want to take this off and risk it falling off the off the hoist because all the weight's up front. I've already taken the trunk apart. I've already taken the gas tank out. So depending, um, I don't know if I'll get to the rear subframe today, but I'd like to get um, the motor and tranny out. So we'll uh, we'll get started and see where we end up. I just want to say, you guys can see that uh, I I try and catch as much as I can with uh, with the bucket, but I will say that uh, these here mats that I have here, they're made by they're made by uh, Anthony at Huggy Cover, and uh, they're awesome. Like they've saved me so much hassle cleaning up the floors and and stuff falling on the floors, so. You've got a sh garage at home, you know what I mean? You got a shop and you want to uh, catch all the crap that's falling on the floor. These mats, they're awesome.
Okay guys, I think I'm ready to pull the engine. So, there's that steering um, that's loosened off. I'm hoping as I drop the engine down it comes up a little bit because she's a little stiff and I can't get it off. I think, so the rad's out, the air conditioner condenser's out, the wiring harness, whoa, was extremely difficult. So, in here, it goes in here and you can see the um, control box in here under the driver's side. Extremely hard to get at because it's underneath all the pedals and up underneath the dash. Comes out, it ran up the entire thing all the way along. It ran all the way along the front and then it ran down inside there. And again, down underneath the dashboard. Again, very difficult to get out. So the wiring harness is uh, it's pretty big. Obviously, we're going to be putting in, uh, I don't know, Motec or Heltec or something, you know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be stock. I think everything on this side is clear. That's an air conditioning hose. And I think we'll come out. The fuse box will drop down with it. And I think... That's that. The brakes are all unhooked. So I'm hoping, and I found, oh, there's the one little bit of rust that I found taking this apart. And it's just surface rust, there's nothing um, serious there, it's nothing that can't just be sanded down and uh, painted over. But other than that, I think all I've gotta do is drop the cradle bolts, there's four on each side, or five on each side, and the transmission um, cross member and I should be able to lift the car up and drop the whole motor and tranny down so let's see if we can get it out If I did my job right, I should be able to lift this off and have the motor and tranny come out. We'll see what happens. Now it should come out. Third time's a charm. Go ahead. Well guys, that's it. Motor and tranny are out. Besides that little bit of rust on the inside, this thing is as clean as you could ever hope to find a 22 year old car. Should be pretty easy to put back together. These lines are gonna be a bit of a, a pain I think. I gotta pull all of those lines off. I'm gonna come up with some kind of uh, system to mark those, because I feel like the lines are gonna be a bit of a, a pain. But uh, yeah, clean all the way down, guys. So, and there it is. 2JZ on a dolly. Um, again, if anybody wants it, I'm gonna sell the whole 2J five-speed transmission transmissions in good shape clutch works great um, but I'll get this taken apart as well uh, put a new steering column in we're gonna clean up all this aluminum probably gonna have it all powder coated have the whole subframe powder coated so that's uh, that's it for today I got the motor out tranny out um, the next steps probably gonna take the rear subframe or the rear 
sub frame out, sub assembly. Jesus, I can't even talk. Um, the rear sub assembly out. Um, we'll take that cradle down with all the suspension. I'm probably gonna do it the same way that I did the motor and tranny. I'm probably just going to drop the suspension, the cradle, the rear end, everything down at once. From there, guys, we uh, will take the interior part, and uh, and basically it's disassembled. So we'll start uh, we'll start doing up more votes and uh, and mocking up the body kit. Again, guys, that's it for today. But if you are new to the channel, we are building the Toyota Super here behind me. Everything that's done to it is voted on by you guys, the subscribers. And at the end, when it's done one of you subscribers is gonna win the car. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. And we'll see you next time.